Today we're field stripping a 1911. First thing you want to do with any gun is to make sure it's unloaded. That includes checking the chamber and the magazine. The 1911 you need to start with a closed slide. Turn the gun into the shape of an L. This piece here is the barrel bushing. This here is a recoil spring plug and that sits around the recoil spring guide rod. What you're going to do is depress the plug. I like to use the magazine, but you can use something else if you want. Now you're going to take the barrel bushing and you're going to slide it towards you. Gently let up on that plug and the spring. It will get away from you and then you can pull it free. You've got to slide the bushing, the barrel bushing, towards you so that there's clearance for that spring to leave. If you don't, if you slide it away from you, you can't get the spring out. So when the gun is in the shape of an L, bushing comes towards you to pull the spring out, and then when you slide it away from you, you can go ahead and pick, pick the bushing up, pull it out of the gun. On all 1911s, there's the big indentation in the slide here. And that's where the slide stop goes when the slide is all the way back. There's also this little indentation there, and that's what we're looking for in this next step. We're going to take and we're going to slide back the slide on the receiver. We're going to slide it back until it lines up, until the top of the slide stop lines up with that little notch. Now, on the back side of the slide stop is this button. We're going to push that. We're going to push that into the frame. I'm going to push up from behind of the frame. And now the slide stop will come free. Pull the slide stop free. Now slide the slide all the way forward. Now your slide is free of the frame. Turn the slide so it's pointed so the sights are on the table. Pick up the recoil spring guide rod and take it out. And now Time to take the barrel out. The barrel is fully seated. It's actually it's going to be locked up inside the slide on the lock lug. So you can either pull up here on the barrel link, or you can turn it turn it upside down and let gravity do the work. And you push the barrel all the way out the front of the gun. Now you have a fully field stripped 1911. Reassembly of the 1911 is also pretty easy. We're going to start with the barrel and the slide. Point the slide down, slide the barrel in, all the way back. This is the barrel link. It needs to go back. Take the recoil spring guide rod. The guide rod is contoured to fit right up against the barrel, so that's, what, that's the way you're going to put it in. Let's put the guide rod in. Now with everything held together, going to push the barrel link down. What's going to happen is we're going to put the slide back onto the receiver and then we're going to put the slide stop in. The slide stop pin needs to travel through the barrel link, but we've got to do that once the slide is on the frame. So we're going to hold the slide and let gravity hold the link down into place. With the barrel link down, we're going to slide the slide onto the frame. And now we're going to be watching the hole here in the frame. As you push the slide back, you're going to see the barrel link pass by the hole. That's what we're waiting for. There we go. See? Barrel link's lined up with the hole. Now we've gone too far. Too far back. Lined up just right. Take the slide stop. Put it in there. It's going to be loose but it's going to hold that barrel link in place. Keep sliding the slide back until that little notch lines up with the, where the slide stop is going to go. Once the notch is in place, the slide stop will just slip right in. Now the slide stop is fully seated. You can see it You'll be able to see it coming out the other side there. 
Once the slide stop in is in, push the slide forward. We're almost finished. Once again, we're going to put the gun into a shape of an L. We're going to put the bushing in. Barrel bushing slides over the barrel. Slide it away from you so that it'll seat into the front, into the slide and then slide it forward so that you can get the recoil spring in place. Recoil spring slides in over the guide rod. Now this is a little bit of a tricky part. What you're going to do is with your thumb free, you're going to grab the frame and the slide and you're going to hold it together. And you want your thumb free so they can move the barrel bushing. Now take the recoil spring plug, slide it into place. What we're going to do is we're going to push down on that, push it in, slide the bushing over into place. Once again, we're going to push the plug down, slide the bushing in, and we're going to just catch that lip. This thing will get away from you if you're not careful. Now again, you need some sort of hard thing like the uh, magazine plate. You're going to push down on the plug. Once it's all the way down, you're going to slide the, the barrel bushing into place. Once the plug is in place and the bushing is all the way down, you're finished. You have a fully reassembled 1911.